Welcome to Learning with Philemon. In this video we will be discussing the structure of the molecule benzene. Benzene has the molecular formula C6H6. In 1865 the German chemist August Kekulé proposed that benzene contained a six-membered ring of carbons with alternating single and double bonds. Here we see both the structural formula and the skeletal formula. In skeletal formulas each corner represents a carbon atom. Since carbon should form four bonds, the number of hydrogen atoms bonded to each carbon atom can be deduced. Although this structure was initially accepted, chemical and physical evidence discovered later showed that this could not be the correct structure. If benzene contains three double bonds, it must react like an alkene. Alkenes undergo electrophilic addition reactions, as seen in the diagram below. In these reactions, the double bond breaks, and each carbon forms two new single bonds. For more on this mechanism, please watch the electrophilic addition video. An example of such a reaction is when an alkene is added to an aqueous bromine solution. As the alkene reacts with the bromine, the bromine solution is decolorized, changes from orange-brown to clear. Benzene would not decolorize an aqueous bromine solution. Benzene does not undergo electrophilic addition reactions, but electrophilic substitution reactions. For more on this type of mechanism, watch the next video. This is evidence that benzene cannot contain double bonds. The next piece of evidence against Kekulé's structure is hydrogenation. Hydrogenation is the addition of a hydrogen molecule, H2, to an unsaturated compound. In the following diagram, we can see that three molecules release a different amount of energy during hydrogenation. Cyclohexene consists of a six-membered ring of carbons and contains one carbon-carbon double bond. When cyclohexene reacts with hydrogen in the presence of a catalyst, the double bond breaks and each carbon involved in the double bond forms a single bond with a hydrogen atom. Cyclohexane is formed and 120 kilojoules are released per mole. Note that cyclohexane is an alkane. 1,3 cyclohexadiene is like cyclohexene but contains two double bonds. Both double bonds are broken during hydrogenation. As expected, approximately twice the amount of energy, 231 kilojoules, are released per mole. If benzene contained three double bonds, we would expect it to release three times as much energy, around 360 kilojoules per mole, as cyclohexene during hydrogenation. However, when benzene reacts with three hydrogen molecules, it only releases 208 kilojoules per mole. This shows that benzene is a more stable molecule. This can also be seen in the diagram, as benzene has a lower energy than 1,3 cyclohexadiene. The stability of benzene is due to delocalization, as will be discussed later in the video. The final piece of evidence against Kekulé's structure comes from X-ray crystallography. In X-ray crystallography, the diffraction of X-rays helps scientists determine the position of atoms in a structure and hence the bond lengths. The diffraction pattern of benzene revealed that benzene is a symmetrical molecule and that all the carbon-carbon bonds have the same length. This would not be the case if benzene contains both single and double carbon-carbon bonds. Carbon-carbon single bonds have a length of 154 picometers, whereas carbon-carbon double bonds have a length of 134 picometers. The carbon-carbon bonds in benzene have a length between that of a single and a double bond, 140 picometers. Note that one picometer is equal to 10 to the minus 12 meters. By considering the reactions of benzene and bond lengths, we have seen that the Kekulé structure is incorrect. So what is the structure of benzene? To explain the structure of benzene, we need to consider the hybridization that occurs upon bonding. Each carbon atom in benzene is sp2 hybridized. This means that each carbon has three sp2 hybrid orbitals, the blue orbitals in the diagram. 
which are used to form three equivalent sigma bonds with two carbon and one hydrogen atom. The green circles are representing the 1s orbital of the hydrogen atoms. The three equivalent sigma bonds explain why all the bonds in benzene have the same length. For more on sp2 hybrid orbitals, please watch the hybridization video. Each carbon atom has one electron remaining in a p orbital. The p orbitals overlap forming a molecular orbital with electron density above and below the ring. The six electrons originally occupying the atomic orbitals can now move across the whole ring in the molecular orbital. For more on this, please watch the molecular orbitals, sigma and pi bonding video. The electrons are delocalized. This explains the relative stability of benzene we saw in hydrogenation compared to the structure proposed by Kekule. Benzene is often drawn as a six-membered ring with a ring in the middle, which represents the delocalized electrons in the molecular orbital. Although this is the accepted structure of benzene, you will see both this one and the Kekule structure used. Thank you for listening. To consolidate your learning, try answering the questions in the description. If you haven't already, please subscribe for more content. Stay curious.